Mm, it's good to be back home again. Are you cozy? Yes. Good. Mommy, what's wrong with me? Everything's going to be just fine. The doctors at the hospital figured out that you have diabetes, and now we're going to have to make a few changes to help keep you healthy. What kind of changes? Well, to begin with, we will have to pay very close attention to the food that we eat to make sure that you have a healthy diet and that we keep just the right amount of sugar in your blood, not too much and not too little. And the insulin that you take will also help your cells to use the sugar in your blood to give your body energy. Energy so I don't get too tired again? That's right. Your body needs energy just like some of your toys need energy from batteries to help make them work or plants need energy from the sun to help them grow. Why don't you have to take insulin? Well, because I have special islet cells in my body that make insulin for me. And you used to have islet cells in your body until they were destroyed. But what destroyed my special islet cells? That's a bit trickier because it was actually your own body that destroyed your islet cells. But why would my own body attack my special cells? Hmm, let's see. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine we're going on an adventure. adventure begins in the ocean. Billions of years ago, back when there were no humans on the earth, all living things inhabited the ocean as single cells, like bacteria. These little cells could get all their energy from the sun's light, the earth's heat, and the ocean's nutrients and oxygen. Billions of generations, new cells had the ability to swallow their smaller neighbors. These cells could break the little ones down into bits of sugar and other molecules that they use for energy. 800 million years ago, this simple life of swallowing smaller cells was outshined by a whole new kind of living. Cells began to work together. They could stick together like glue and form tiny animals. The cells that make up these tiny animals started specializing and could carry out different roles. Special cells formed simple skins, holding creatures together and separating them from the ocean world. Other cells became able to absorb food, but all of an animal's cells need energy to stay alive. In very simple animals, food energy is easily shared between neighboring cells. Now, in all animals, the ancient ability to swallow up certain cells in small debris has been retained by some special cells. These swallowing cells can consume and destroy harmful things, like bacteria and viruses. This is a simple immune system. All animals have it. Immune systems determine which cells are part of the body and which are not. Over hundreds of millions of years, more and more complex animals evolved, and more and more they became separated from the environment. Some skin-like membranes made of cells formed special areas devoted to eating. In large pockets, kind of like your stomach, food is broken down using tiny chemicals. Cells that line the stomach pocket absorb the broken down food and share it with the rest of the body. As animals got larger and more complex, areas of cells became further and further away from each other and the ocean's oxygen and energy. 
Some animals developed a way of spreading energy around the body so all their cells could get what they need. Cells formed blood vessels, passageways that carry food energy, oxygen from the ocean, and even immune cells. Animals that can get the most energy are more able to move around in the direction of food. Complex creatures are better at sensing their world, finding food, and using the food energy to live their lives. In order to eat faster and get even more energy, some animals' stomach pockets formed a passageway going through the center of their entire bodies, the gut. Along with the ocean, a lot of bacteria and viruses pass through animals when they eat. So areas full of swallowing cells began to line the gut in order to stop these outsiders from entering the body. Around 500 million years ago, these areas grew to include immune cells that could recognize specific outsiders. One of these new types of cells, T cells, work together with swallowing cells. After swallowing cells break down an outsider, they display the tiny digested pieces on their surfaces. T cells can read these pieces on the surface, like a story, and understand what has been swallowed. In this way, T cells gather information that can be shared with the rest of the immune system. Another new group of cells, B cells, act sort of like swallowing cells, but can only swallow one kind of outsider. After a B cell has swallowed an outsider, it is read by a T cell. If the T cell decides it has swallowed something harmful, then the B cell is activated. Activated B cells divide and release tiny pieces called antibodies. Antibodies cling to outsiders, crippling them and marking them to be swallowed up. In this way, a lot of harmful organisms are overpowered even before they enter in the body. They are just washed out through the gut. The pancreas makes chemicals that digest things in your gut. Also, it makes insulin that helps cells absorb sugars really well. This is why your pancreas is so very important. As an incredibly complex organism, you need huge amounts of energy. Living things started out very, very simple and became more and more complex over a long time. Humans are very similar to our evolutionary neighbors. We get energy in similar ways. We eat and we have the same ways of maintaining our bodies. Life is a constant balance of getting the food that our bodies need and meanwhile isolating ourselves from things that might disrupt and infect our bodies. Our immune systems have to be very intelligent to deal with the magnificent variety of unknowns in the world. In our bodies, our T and B cells are born from cells in our bone marrow. The bone marrow is full of young cells, called stem cells, which can grow into almost any type of cell your body needs.
Our B and T cells circulate around the body and gather in the lymph nodes with all our other swallowing immune cells. In this super immune tissue, cells talk with each other and decide to get rid of bacteria and viruses. Once a B cell is triggered to divide and make antibodies, some of the B cells will circulate around our bodies for years and maybe forever. Likewise, some T cells live on, remembering what is harmful and what is not. Memory is the most important part of our immune system's vast intelligence. This is usually good for you because it keeps you from getting really sick from the same thing twice. However, sometimes T or B cells can be accidentally turned against your own body. Some scientists think that your kind of diabetes is caused by your T cells getting confused. In humans, T cells can actually read any cell in your body and find out if it is infected by a virus. Some T cells can make other cells die very quickly, getting rid of infected cells. What they think might happen in your type of diabetes is that your insulin-making islet cells looked just like infected cells. When your islet cells got destroyed by T cells, your pancreas stopped making insulin and you got very sick because your cells could not get enough energy from food. Doctors and scientists are working on treatments that use stem cells, like the young cells from your bone marrow, the kind that can grow into a lot of different things. They are learning how to get the young cells to grow up to be islet cells. Scientists are also figuring out ways to use your own stem cells to replace the dead islets in your pancreas. Someday, doctors and scientists will piece together this great puzzle of the immune system. Every day, they are discovering a little bit more about how our immune systems work. They are learning to use stem cells and work with our natural healing abilities to potentially heal all diseases, including diabetes. And until a cure for diabetes is found, the insulin you put in your body every day will help your cells get the energy they need to keep you healthy and happy. For how long do I have to take my insulin? Probably until researchers and scientists find a way to help your body create its own islet cells in your pancreas and discover how to keep your immune system from attacking them. But until then, all you have to think about is living a good life, doing the things you love to do, enjoying the time you spend with your family, and making smart choices about the food you eat and the way you live your life. Okay, I can do that. I know you can. Good night, love. <laughs>